Is slugging good for all skin types? <laughs> slugging, okay. This is a real thing. If any of you have never heard about this before, I'm gonna just break down a little bit about the term, because you might see it, you might, hmm, that doesn't sound too enjoyable, slugging, but really what it's coming to is about talking, about using an occlusive style of cream or ointment over the top of your nighttime routine products. Okay, so what does this all mean? Is that A-list defined occlusive. Occlusive is to sit over the top or to lock everything in. And if any of you have heard of slugging before, you may notice that the occlusive agent that is most shown is a petroleum product. Now, petroleum products can have mixed review, mixed feelings around it. So my goal today is to talk a little bit more about how you can effectively use an occlusive type of product to act as the slugging for your skin. So what does this mean for skin types is our recommendation and mine personally is this is going to be the best kind of treatment that you could do for yourself if you sit in the dry skin category oily combination normal might find doing a slugging treatment a bit too much might make the skin feel too heavy and could leave possibly to just too much going on in the skin and causing possible congestion later on so all of you who are dry skin here that are really looking for a unique way to really help replenish and kind of get that dry skin not so red due to that dryness and also to really get your products that you're already using to really work more effectively for you. So when we use the slugging method, we want to use it at nighttime and you would do it at the very end. So your very last step of your routine. So if you love using facial oils at night, if you love using a night cream moisturizer for your face and your neck, continue to do all those steps. Then you would lay or over the top of that an occlusive based product so that it's locking everything in. So what are some of the maybe don't do's when you want to be using a slugging treatment for yourself is be mindful of what products you're putting on the skin before you slug. So considering that it's going to hold everything inside, you may want to avoid using any exfoliation agents or resurfacing products. Look more for hydration, maybe look for more water binding, look for more oil binding, things that are going to be more effective um, that when it's whole, held inside, you will not get any irritation because it has nowhere else to go. Okay, so that's slugging. That's using an occlusive to give you more benefit of your products underneath and for dry skin. Okay, uh, so before I continue with some great product recommendations, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit that notification so you always know what's coming up next. All right, let's talk about what you can do for your skin to slug. Okay, so how do we prepare? My recommendation, do your routine. And since we're talking to most of you out here who have a drier skin type, I've brought up our beautiful Firm Skin Acai Cleanser. And this cleanser is more of a cream-based cleanser, so it's already going to be more moisturizing for your skin. So a great place to begin when you want to begin your nighttime routine. The second, continue as maybe you have your favorite toner, so you can use an essence. Oh, I can't I love our essence, it's another good one to get that locked and loaded. And then a serum, I'm a huge fan of serums. And today I described our beautiful strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic um, serum. Remember, it's got a, um, a water magnet to it, so it's really gonna pull that extra hydration into your skin, so very, very important. And for your moisture care, you can go right ahead, maybe use um, a nighttime moisturizer. We've got two of them that I love, Marine Flower. We have the um, Minoy Age Corrective, gorgeous. But today what I did is I brought an, a, one of my personal favorites because it also acts almost like an occlusive to its own right, which is the beautiful Camellia um, Glow Solid Facial Oil. And this has definitely got more weight to it. So this could go on first if you like to use a beautiful facial oil and then 
So what's the slugger? <laughs> this is also fun, right? Is I have a rosehip and lemongrass repair balm. So this is definitely a more of an occlusive style of leave-on that you can definitely incorporate to do the slugging technique at home home. So I'm just going to give you a quick little show and tell so you can kind of see what that should look like on, on the skin in the mirror. Because some of you might go, ooh, that's pretty shiny or sluggy as we say. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a kick out of saying that term. Anyway, so I'm just got our beautiful chameleon oil here. So I'm just going to pull it out and I have a little spatula on both sides. So I'm just going to open these two up. And Often questions like, you know, how thick do I want to put this on? How should it be? And I think a really great uh, reference is think about like a sheet of paper. So you want to go about the sheet of paper. So I'm going to just show you on my hand so I can really give you that effect. So for first, I've, I'm just going to use, I've, I've got a cleansed hand, by the way, and I'm just going to go ahead with my Camellia Glow Solid Face Oil. And it's going to take a few minutes usually to get it to go through. So you're going to see that you get that beautiful finish of a facial oil, but it definitely has a little bit more slip to it. Next, now you're going to go right for it. You're going to get your occlusive. So I've just got my beautiful rosehip and lemongrass. You're going to get a, get a little piece here. And we're going to go right over the top, which is fine. And now you can do this two ways. Just because I'm showing it in a demo this way, I'm using the one hand onto my other hand. But please feel free to do that traditional, put some in the palm of your hand and really bring up that beautiful oil through. But here you're gonna see that I am gently just starting to massage it through. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. I can feel that occlusiveness sitting right over the top. So you can see now that glow that she gets almost like quite dewy and it almost looks wet. That's what we're looking to do. Now you might be thinking, okay, Natalie, that's great. What about when I lay down on the pillowcase? So please, some things to consider when you want to slug at night, and you can do this a couple times a week. It's not something that you need to do every single day. Maybe when the skin really is feeling like it needs that deep moisture lock-in, consider doing your slugging then. Maybe lay a towel down over your pillowcase while you're sleeping just so that you're not marking up any of your nicer linens. So that would probably be my biggest tip if you want to do your slugging before you go to sleep. <laughs> manage manage your, your towel so that it's soaking into your skin and not onto your linen. So I really hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty awesome. And if you want to learn a little bit more about your dry skin, go check out these videos over here and you can learn all about different ways to manage your dry skin. I'll catch you next time.